Hello everyone, my name is Ty Oni, and this is my Lesson 5 Discussion Board Assignment for TEM 431 with Professor Jason Bronowitz, ASU, Summer Session B 2016. So for this lesson we were tasked with visiting several grocery stores and making our own observations. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first store that I visited is my local grocery store, Pavilions. It is the closest grocery store in proximity to my house. Uh, but it's a very nice store, I like it. Um, taking some pictures here. The sign is very well noticeable. Parking lot's very nicely lit up. Uh, not a lot of curb appeal. They don't really keep anything outside. There's no red box or... Uh, anything that would draw customers in from the outside. Inside, it was a little bit late, so uh, some of the stock keepers were working. There was some stuff that was laying around out of place. I don't know if it was you know left over from a customer, or just put in the wrong spot by somebody, but uh, it didn't quite have that attractive feel. The color scheme of the store was very warm, um, very inviting, but not very exciting. A lot of browns, variation of light and dark, but uh, uh, everything seemed to match well. It's very well put together. The store was brightly lit. It was very easy to see things there. Uh, being at night, it was fairly quiet. Like any normal s grocery store, the cash registers were all up front. Um, they did possess a self-checkout. Two checkers working when I was there at about 9 p.m., a few people in line, but nothing terrible. Pavilions does have a clearance section. Uh, they sell stuff that is on sale. Kind of located towards the front of the store, off to the side. Uh, and they do offer a loyalty program, um, similar to other larger grocery store chains, uh, which you can receive discounts on some items and then put that savings uh, towards gas and stuff like that. Customers that I encountered were of various ages and ethnicities. Nothing really stood out to me here out of the ordinary. There weren't a lot of people in the store at this time of night. My experience overall was good. Better usually during the day, but also more crowded as well. So if you're willing to kind of put up with a little bit of clutter and less people working there, you're possibly going to really like your experience being a quick and efficient visit to the grocery store. The next store that I visited was Vaughn's, which happens to be owned by the same parent company as Pavilions, and the loyalty program works at both stores as well as Safeway. Looking at the store from the outside when I first pulled up, not as great as the Pavilions. The area in which this Vaughn's is located is not quite as nice. However, the store did have a little bit of curb appeal. Uh, with the picture shown here, you can see a little bit of merchandise outside. Um, it's been very hot lately, so letting everybody know that they have plenty of water at this location. Not pictured here, but also there was some outdoor furniture located on the other side, which they were also uh, putting on display for customers to see. Inside the store, it looks fairly similar to Pavilions. A lot of that same brown color scheme, uh, very well put together. Being during the day, the deli was open, they were making sandwiches and other stuff like that. This location did have a Starbucks inside, which was very convenient. Always happy and smelling glorious. The store did have a little bit of clutter, I noticed. Uh, which was a little bit odd being during the day you wouldn't expect to see a cart full of cardboard boxes just sitting. Similar pavilions, the registers were up front, which also contained a cart of, it looks like, go-back items that was also sitting up near the front. A relatively plain sight view here. Just something that the store could help clean up um, so that people like myself aren't noticing the clutter. There was a larger presence of older customers, it appeared to me, um, in this in this particular store. 
The cashiers were friendly and a self-checkout was also available there. Overall, I thought it was a decent trip. Uh, there were some things that could be improved on, but overall pretty good. The Ralph's that I visited was also fairly close to my house. I visited it at night. It was fairly crowded. Uh, for the time of night that I was there, I wasn't expecting to see so many people. Curb Appeal was fairly nice. This was one of the only places that I visited that had a red box outside, uh, which I know is very convenient for some shoppers. They enjoy having that. Setup-wise, it was similar to Vons and Pavilions. It had a lot of the same color schemes, although this particular location did have more soda can box displays, larger areas of discounted items, which was nice and conveniently located at the front of the store. The age demographic for this was a little bit younger than any other two stores that I saw I visited first. The self-checkout was available and busy, as was the rest of the store, and the staff seemed very friendly. That was very nice. Uh, not a lot of clutter like I was used to seeing in the other two stores, even though it was at night, so I really thought Ralph's did a great job. The fourth store that I visited was the Northgate Market, which is a discount grocery store, services many of the Latino population of the area. The store features a panateria, a carnesteria, and uh, fresh tortillas being cooked out front, uh, which really helped the curb appeal, and the smell of the carne asada was wonderful. Inside, a lot of the typical Hispanic food products you would expect to get uh, were very conveniently placed. A lot of the signs were in Spanish, and a lot of the people shopping there um, were of Hispanic descent. While the market was different than what I was used to, overall I was impressed with the layout and the warm color scheme that was being displayed there. And while I didn't understand the words, the Latin music being played to the loudspeakers also helped bring the experience full circle. The next place I visited was the Mar Vista Market. Very small store, as you can see by the sign, produce, meat, and grocery. I couldn't really tell you about the save up to 70% at this time. Uh, what I do know is a very, very small, maybe not even a quarter of the size of the other markets that I was used to. Looked like it would be a very close relationship you would have with management or ownership just based on how many people were in the store. It was pretty empty. The quality of the product looked very good though. I was impressed with the meat department. Good cuts. Outside the store was a couple of murals. They were very well done. Uh, however, the area that it was in was a little lower income, so you have to be careful of that. Plus, there was a lot of clutter out front of the store. This picture here is very close to the entrance. The entrance is just to the right of that stack of milk crates uh, where you would enter the store, actually the only entrance to the store. For the size overall, I was impressed with the store just because of the products they had inside. It looked like very quality products, which be very nice as a customer. Uh, the only thing I would want them to do would be to clean up the outside a little bit so that people would be able to see the murals and not so much the trash. The sixth and final store I went to was Sprouts, a neighborhood uh, Whole Foods market. They specialize in a lot of quality products, gluten-free, health foods, uh, natural foods. So that's a very different market than what I've been to. Um, outside, the sign was bright. I went to this location at night, um, and the curb appeal was awesome. When I walked up to the store, I saw a couple of displays of melon, um, stuff for barbecuing, and the doors were automatic, uh, and inside the store was very bright. Uh, what I liked about inside the store was how open the floor plan was. You could see everything from pretty much any spot in the store, which was um, awesome. The ethnicity of the store was quite diverse. I heard probably four different languages in the short time I was in there. One thing I was unhappy with was the amount of checkers that there was in the store. There were a lot of people, and even though it was at night, for the amount of people that were in there, you would expect to see more people working. But overall, I thought Sprouts was an amazing store, and I will definitely go back.